category, creating new things in the metaverse. And we've got Crispy Chris joining us to, um, but with their Nori Cube. There you go. HMD free O2O metaverse platform to tell us more about that. Chris. Hi. Nice to meet you all. Uh, I'm really proud to present uh, for last uh, because there's a, there is a song named Save the Best for Last. You are the save the best for last. Yeah, I'm actually singing. So yeah. So let me yeah, get into the my agenda. Today's my agenda is Ocho Metaverse uh, platform. Um, do you know the, the definition of Ocho, right? Online to offline. So in the true uh, experience in a uh, metaverse, uh, what I believe uh, is you have to get that experience both ways, online and offline. So you have to connect the experience between the users and the world. Furthermore, you have to actually connect the metaverse world to the real world. I, just, I, I think that is the true you know, definition of the, uh, the metaverse uh, platform. So uh, uh, the thing is, I'm not really sure about the what really like metaverse is, but the thing is, it seems the metaverse is getting bigger and bigger because lots of corporates, lots of people are into metaverse. They're spending lots of money, like you know, Microsoft, Meta, even like Korean game company Nexon are putting lots of money into metaverse. So uh, people are spending so much time in metaverse. So it seems also the, uh, they spend too much time. So in the real world, they don't really have time to spend in the real world. That is what I believe. This is some fact. Uh, maybe it's not correct, but from my experience, from my in a, um, understanding, uh, in Korea, there is a second-hand good market, Dangun market. It's called Karun market. It's get really grown very fast during the pandemic era, like four times uh, growing, you know. Uh, because they don't want to go to the like pawn shop to buy like second-hand good uh, goods. They want to buy second-hand goods in the local area. And also the number of in uh, convenience store is really increasing because it's very convenient. You can buy something in your, real, I mean your local area. So what about the experience? Maybe you want to get some cool experience in your local area. So this is some case studies in the world uh, getting popular. And when you see the Bello Arena, it's a, like a Finnish uh, company. They made some immersive uh, sports game in the local area. And also the, the Austrian company named Action uh, gives some holographic experience in a small room. And their experience is a French company. It's also giving you some screen-based, touch-based uh, metaverse game. And the last Imagine Box just started. Uh, they are uh, the uh, uh, Israeli company. They are, they are actually giving some immersive uh, extra platform room for the school. But I think we have a, a better auto extra platform in the real world. Let me introduce Nori Cube, created by Crispy. And we having some uh, platform room, uh, like 10 feet sized uh, room. Inside this room, we projected the projection map images. And also, there are lots of sensors on the world. So you can directly, just intuitively touch the world to connect to the metaverse world. So this is a little uh, small clip for Nori Cube. So inside this Nori Cube, by the way, it's a cool effect of the logo, Nori Cube. And you will get any types of metaverse experience. You can do some like digital escape room game, or you can get some like digital immersive art by just touching the world. Yes, it's a short clip. Okay, just started. It's a Korean artist, like Kim Hong Do, it's very famous. She are not just only uh, inside the world of uh, graphic or art. Also, you can get the interact by touching the world, something like that. So, and also our mission is to uh, connect all the metaverse into this Nori Cube. 
So for doing that, we are providing some SDK and also uh, we are developing now App Store so any developers can upload their own Metaverse world. So these are uh, the works we are doing. So yeah, so Nori Cube, please remember, you then you want to get some cool auto experience of the Metaverse, this, this can be the solution. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. So you talked a little bit at the end about opening the experience through SDKs for yes. other Metaverse developers and experience. Yes. What about the users, the people that walk into the cube? Are you collecting any information demographically about them to personalize the experience? Uh, anything like that to understand them better? Uh, it's like when you log in uh, your own uh, maybe m email and website, we're providing some identification. If you put in your ID and password, you will get some maybe your own score. You will get that in a uh, track record of your experience. That is our you know, purpose of doing that because it can be like, uh, it has to be seamless. You know, it can be just stuff. Okay. Fantastic. All right, and next, karaoke in the U.S. 